Hey guys, how are you? We are back for another episode of My Creative Year for July. This is week two, and our topic for this month is tips. Our prompt for this week is warning. I want to, like I did last month in June, I want to build a page over the month. Um, last week, we used the topic uh, for the month, which is tips, and the prompt for that week, which was favorite go-tos, to draw the tips of my favorite go-to supplies. <laughs> a pencil, a paintbrush, a fountain pen, and a ballpoint pen, um, which I think was kind of fun. It was quick, easy uh, page. This week, the, top, the prompt is warning, and I want to continue to build on the page, and I thought about it a bit and thought, I got a really good idea. So I've got this piece of um, Haney Deli paper that I sometimes use um, between my pages so I don't get the rest of the book all marked up. And I think we're gonna cut a paint palette-y kind of shape out of this. I'm gonna just cut a square of it. And then I'm gonna just freehand it. It's got layers of really great like um, marks and paint and all kinds of stuff on. So I'm going to cut sort of an old-fashioned-ish shaped paint palette. I want to punch a hole in it because you know it would have a thumb hole, right? big. I recently moved all my punches and stuff around so it's a little interesting trying to find stuff. Okay, that doesn't even want to go in there which is weird. wrong with that punch. Let's try this one. Yep, that one works. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with this and I'll have to see if I can fix it later. So then I thought we would put this on here and you're probably saying what does this little paint palette thing you cut out really quick have to do with the warning. I'll show you in a minute. I have such a cute idea. I think it's a cute idea. Um, so we're going to take this and I'm going to take a black pen. I may use a Copic, which I do own a couple of Copics, not too many. Um, let's see. I like to test the pen on a scrap of paper. Yeah, that'll work. Let's zoom in. Make sure I spell all the words correctly. That's usually a challenge for me. Once you get the letters on there, then you can go back and touch them up, make them bigger, make them bolder if you want. I'm sorry if my dog barking is driving everybody crazy. So I like that warning artist at work. <laughs> In case you can't see what it says because of the glare on the camera. There you go. Oops. 
cute is that? Warning artist at work. Okay, let's put the Copic marker away. Let's grab some yellow or orange neon paint as if it was an actual warning sign. Like safety orange, right? So this is some um, Americana neon and torrid orange. dog is just like going at it. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to um, just add some. I want to add just a little bit of this. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> I'm looking at the calendar for next week and what the prompt is for next week and I want to make sure that I leave room for what I think I want to do for there. I'm thinking I want to put it somewhere like that. Okay, so we're gonna let's dry that and let I'm gonna get some glue out and we're going to see about getting it on there. I'm gonna use some fluid matte medium, but you could use Elmer's glue, you could use probably a glue stick. Um, and you could use any painty paper or you could make a painty paper. I happen to have this piece of painty deli paper, but it doesn't have to be deli paper. It could be anything. It could be a piece of wrapping paper. It could be a tag. It could be anything. So we're going to put our little warning sign on our page. And hope that our Copic marker doesn't run too much. It looked like it did a little bit. Because I probably got it way too wet. There's a tip, a warning. Be careful when you're doing this that the markers you're using are water soluble. Okay. Now I like that, but I'm thinking that the warning is not showing up bright enough for me. So I'm going to dry it again and I'm going to come back um, with a different color of marker, maybe white. I do actually have neon paint pens, so let's see what we can do with that and I'll be right back. The first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to go over my lettering with a white paint pen. This is the white Sharpie. And it, if nothing else, will just give me a nice base to redo the letters with something else. I'm also going to take a Stabilo um, all pencil and I'm going to go around our little warning sign, our paint palette, a little bit. Now remember what I said about this paper not being super water friendly uh, in the other video, well, in past videos. So be careful you don't add too much water. because it really doesn't like it. I have a baby wipe ready at hand. Let's 
good. Just to blend that out just a little bit. Okay, let's do something about that lettering because that's really not cool. Um, let's see. I have this jelly roll pen in um, neon orange, like a safety color. So let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, I like that better. I think part of the reason it's not showing up well is because the paper I cut the palette out of is so um, busy. <laughs> I think it's very busy. And I like this Jelly Roll pen, but it's, I don't think it's, let's see. Sometimes things are like this. I just have trouble figuring out. I have these um, Elmer's Painter's pens in neon colors, but... Um, I don't use them very much because the tips, yeah, a little bit on the big side. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe the answer is a fatter black pen. Don't know. Let me think about it, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone over the words um, three or four times with the paint pen to really make them as opaque as possible. Of course, as soon as I turn the camera back on, the dog starts barking. I'm gonna take my neon jelly roll pen and just kind of highlight the words with the jelly roll. And then I'm happy with the way that looks. It's better. And I've got the um, pr prompt for the week warning uh, in my mind. And as I was trying to figure out what to do with the lettering, I got an idea. So. I like that looks much better. Okay, so now I have an idea. We're going to set the journal aside somewhere out of the way, hopefully. And I'm going to take my table here. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to, I wish I had caution tape, washi tape. I know it's probably out there somewhere and somebody makes it. I don't have any. Um, but I have just plain paper masking tape. So I'm going to put a couple pieces down right on the cutting mat on my table. I'm going to get some yellow paint. I'm going to use a couple different yellows, a primary yellow and a neon yellow. Uh, both, um, this is Americana, yeah, both Americana. And I'm going to put them on my little palette here. Oops, that one needs to be mixed up. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to use a cosmetic sponge. And we're gonna color up our um, masking tape. I almost forgot what it was I was using. Now, if you have a non-stick mat, you wanna do this on there. This is a cutting mat, a uh, quilting cutting mat. So the ta something the tape will peel off of and you can clean the paint off easily. Okay, I'm gonna dry it. Okay, I'm gonna take a black pen um, 
I think I'm going to just use my Bic pen because this is the one I normally use. And we're going to just write caution on here like, like would be on actual caution tape. And yes, I, lo I googled it to see how to spell it because I wasn't sure. Because, <laughs> you know, spelling is not my forte. That's why when I wrote my book, I had so many editors. <laughs> Use a paper tape so that you can write on it like this or paint or stencil on it easily. Okay. I want to take a black paint pen Okay, let's give that another dry. I do have this neon marker. This is a Letraset marker. Warning caution colors, right? Okay, so now we're going to peel it off. And we have this. So we're going to peel it off and set it aside. And clean the table. So on this particular cutting mat, which I got at jo Joann's, I've had a couple of them over the years. This is just a green and yellow kitchen scrubby sponge and water. There's no soap on here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. <laughs> just there's a tip for you. This whole month is going to be about tips. They're going to be hidden in some of the videos, but it's just going to all be about tips. Okay, so I liked the idea of putting caution tape on the journal. <laughs> so like caution, 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 warning, artist at work. <laughs> I like the idea. So we're going to put this on our page. And I like to dry fit it to see where it's going to go. I'm, I'm probably going to put a couple pieces on here. So I think one right there. And I think one up here. So, but what we need to do is make sure it's going to stick by putting some matte medium underneath it. I don't know what's with my dog today. I'm going to have to go check on him.
There must be somebody in the front yard that probably gardeners. He hates gardeners. How fun is that? That's even more fun than store-bought caution tape, I think. I love that. So there you go. That gives you some ideas, hopefully, of what you can do to build on your page this week. Um, the prompt is warning. The topic for the month is tips. Maybe you have some tips in warning that you want to tell people not to do. For instance, here's one. I said it last week. I'll say it again. Oil pastels and um, those type of oily, crayony mediums, you can't write over them with anything. They have to be your last layer on your page, whether it's a uh, Faber Castell Gelato or it's a uh, portfolio water soluble oil pastel or some other kind of like medium. If you're going to use a waxy oily crayon on your page, even a Crayola crayon, do it last because once you do it, it's really difficult to do anything else on top of it. It doesn't want to stick, pens don't want to write on it. So there you go. Trust me, I've done it. All right, that's it for this week. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you're not a member of the Facebook group and you'd like to be, by all means, we'd love to welcome you. The link is in the description below. And we would love to have you as part of our art and sharing community. The most important thing is, though, to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.